We make a big fuss out of fluoride or anything antiseptic that kills oral bacteria or kills gut bacteria. You know, we got to think back and realize why was fluoride ever added to toothpaste, mouth rinses? Why did dentist office use fluoride rinses? And it goes back to today, over 100 years ago, when it's first recognized an oral systemic link that people with poor oral hygiene, a lot of pathogenic bacteria, gingivitis, periodontal disease, had an increased risk of heart attack, stroke. In fact, you could actually detect the oral bacteria in the thrombus or the clot that caused a deadly heart attack. So there's translocation of the bacteria. So 100 years ago, we thought, well, let's just kill the bacteria in the mouth, clean up the mouth, and then eradicate the pathogenicity of the oral bacteria. Well, fast forward 100 years, we know that there's a microbiome. The bacteria that live in and on our body outnumber our human cells 10 to 1. And we know that disrupting that microbiome leads to systemic disease. We don't take an antibiotic every day all of our life because of the disruption it does on the gut microbiome and leading to systemic disease. So we have to support the oral microbiome and not destroy it. Fluoride completely destroys the oral microbiome, leads to dysbiosis, and it leads to pathogenic bacteria overcoming, overpopulating the good non-pathogenic commensal bacteria and causes oral disease. So fluoride is an antiseptic, kills the bacteria. It was once thought that it helps remineralize teeth and prevent caries. Now we're finding that they're more effective, safer, and yet more effective ways than using fluoride. So what we did 100 years ago, we don't do today because we know better. And now there's evidence that fluoride in the drinking water, fluoride in the toothpaste, fluoride in rinses is lowering the IQ of kids and pregnant mothers. It's a neurotoxin. Now there's really talk and discussions of eliminating it from the drinking water. And I think that's a very progressive and much needed move. And many municipalities are moving toward it because now the preponderance of data tell us that the risk of fluoride exposure far outweighs the benefits that we once thought. No effect on cavities, caries causing. If you support the oral microbiome, eat a good food, free of eat good food, free of sugar. Maintain a basic pH in the saliva. Caries only happens when your saliva becomes acidic. So if you can maintain a basic pH in the saliva, no caries, get rid of fluoride, and your body will thank you.